Creekside with Caitlin on a beautiful day with the creek running behind me from a different angle. And I just had a beautiful session with a client who's been working with me and we're at a place where she knows a lot of the thought work. I know some of you are here. This is why I want to share this. She knows there's the idea of thought work. I can thought swap my way uh, if I'm believing something. Like, okay, I could tell myself the story of that or I could choose this story. Now that we can kind of think of, it's like thought buffet. Oh, you know, we have this realization along our journey and our stages of development and we say, oh, I don't have to keep thinking what my brain offers. I could choose. So it becomes a buffet. And then we say, okay, I'm gonna go choose different thoughts. And then we start to realize, oh, I can't always do that. I still have a body with emotions. And so then I need to, sometimes I need to feel my feelings. She came with the question of like, how do I know which way to go? Should I switch my thought or should I feel my feelings? And I said, you know, like, hey, I mean, just make it a simple process for yourself. Offer yourself a new thought. If it doesn't stick, then you probably know you have feelings work to do and it's time to breathe and process. I have many videos about both of these things if you go back. But what's cool about what I wanted to share about what happened in that session was I said, there's a coming attraction or there's a preview. I know you know about the thought buffet. I know that you have delighted in being there and choosing from the buffet and what you want and all of the things. But what if the buff thought buffet is actually out back in the dumpster? That buffet that you think is really powerful is out with the trash. And I've had mentors say this to me in a variety of ways, so I'm just reframing it for her in one sense. I'm saying, if that's out back where the trash is, there's actually somewhere else you can be. Where might that be? And that process of her realizing, you know, it's like almost she looked around inside of her and realized she didn't have to stay in her brain. She didn't have to keep focusing on thoughts. She could enter a place with breath and awareness. She focused her awareness and attention on a different space that became indescribable, that became awe-filled. And now here I'm gonna to try to describe it, right? But it's just, she just sank into a place that felt, I'll say, it looked like it felt grounded and clear and, oh, I don't need to be up in my head about this. So, if you're a person that stays in your brain or you're paid to be in your brain, like so many of us, this is why I work with high achievers and professionals, we get paid for our thoughts. But what if that's back out in the dumpster and even though it's a great buffet, there's actually something way better in the building and we can live in that space instead of out back. What if that's possible? <laughs> it was such a joy to walk her through that process and see the light bulbs go off. And that's why we say indescribable. It's like this sense that she has and a different focus of attention. So I've had that feeling many times. My clients are feeling it. You have many of these examples too, if you stop and reflect and what comes up for you as I say that? I'd love to hear and continue this conversation.